Day in the Luxor. And these uh, lights came in and we started to observe these formations. Now, at first we thought it was plain since we lived, it's right near the route on McCarran. Then we realized it was too slow for planes. So then we thought it was helicopters. Then we realized it was too slow and too many for helicopters. And we'd been, we'd seen um, what planes and helicopters look like as they came through this route all the time because that was the route by McCarran. And we'd lived there for four years. Now, as you see, when you speed it up, these formations and this one um, vessel is going back and forth, which we like to refer to as Yoda. Now, as far as we can tell, these are UFOs. If anyone else thinks otherwise, please let us know. Um, now, this happened, and the next day, this is, see, we lived right near uh, Mandalay Bay, right behind, as you see, right behind the Luxor and Mandalay Bay, and there's this water area right there behind and then um, McCarran is not too far by there. Now that we lived there four years, and the next day these men come to check out the water district, which no one had ever gone there in four years to this level where they're in scuba gear, and they were searching the top of the water district for hours and hours. And it was the strangest thing, and all these vehicles, all these government vehicles, tons of them, and they were looking like they just something had gone awry and they didn't know what was going on.